Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kaylin and I'm so glad you're joining me here on the mat today for this upper body Pilates workout. So we are gonna be using no props today, just you and your mat. Um, if you are part of our 30 day balance series, welcome to day 18. And this is again, upper body. So if you're not doing this series, no worries. This is a great standalone um, routine that you do not need to be doing the series to do this workout. Um, we're going to start in all fours position. So go ahead and come into all fours. We're just going to start to warm up that upper body just a little bit. So once you're in that all fours, I want you to just start to rock forward and back here. Just starting to warm up the shoulders and the wrists, just nice and simple. If you're not familiar with our 30 day series on balance, it is where we find a balance between strength and mobility and flexibility. So through each workout and throughout the whole series, we'll find um, a little bit of both. And that way it gives you kind of an overall wonderful um, full body routine. So I hope you are enjoying it if you are taking part. All right, so now we're gonna find some circles here. So same kind of motion, but just finding a bigger circle around the hand and the wrist and the shoulders and even the hips as well. Good. Do one more in this direction and then we will switch. So here we're finding Starting with that mobility here, just making sure we're mobilizing and also waking up these muscles in the upper body. Good, a couple more this direction. And last one. And then I want you to find a nice still position. And we're gonna find sternum drop. So this is where we drop the chest through the arms. The arms stay nice and straight. And then you press yourself away, pressing the shoulder blades away on your back, good. And then squeeze the shoulder blades together as you drop down and then press it away as you lift up. Good, bring them together, press and lift. Good, let's do four more. This is great for both strength and mobility in that shoulder girdle. Good, last two. Good, last one. Beautiful and lift. All right, staying here, we're gonna find a full plank position. Maybe this is on your knees. Maybe you can go ahead and go right onto your toes. I'm gonna go onto my toes here. Shoulders over the wrist, really spread all 10 fingers. And then when you're ready, find that full plank hold. With your legs together, that is gonna be more challenging. Again, stay nice and strong in that upper body. We just work those muscles. I want you to pull your belly in and up. Make sure your hips are in line with the rest of your body. We just have five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna drop the knees back down into that all fours position. I want to keep your, keep your left hand on the mat. Take an inhale as we reach that right arm up to the ceiling, twist open, and then we're going to exhale as we bring that arm under and through to the other side. And then we do it again. Inhale, lift up, bring it open. Good. Exhale, send it down and through. Good. Inhale, lift, reach. Exhale, bring it under. So just that upper body rotation. Two more on this side, and then we'll switch. Good, last one. Good, we're gonna bring it back to center, right hand down. Now this time, left arm lifts up, we open it up, and then we send it under and through. Good, inhale, twist open. Exhale, bring it under. Really great for upper torso rotation, and then some nice opening in the chest and the shoulders. Good, lift, reach. And open two more. Last one. Good, both hands back down. All right, go ahead and come to face forward now. We are gonna do a side forearm plank hold. We're gonna work that upper arm just a little bit as well. So I'm gonna start on my right side. I want you to come down into that forearm plank hold. Make sure you're not sinking down to that shoulder. Make sure you are pressing yourself away from the upper body. You can either come into a kneeling plank, which should be here with the hips forward, or you can send the legs straight 
and then come up into that position. And we're gonna hold this here. We're really feeling that work here in that shoulder, right here underneath the armpit. We'll feel those obliques too. And I want you to take that top arm, you're gonna press the palm back behind you. Arm is nice and long. We're gonna really give nice little press backs here. So I want you to feel the back of that arm as well. We have eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower those hips down. Bring yourself all the way up. We're gonna swing it right over to the other side. All right. Same thing on this side. Find that stability here in that lower body. Bring yourself into your forearm side plank hold. Once you feel nice and steady, take that top arm and we do nice strong press backs. So you should really feel the back of that arm working. Imagine that you're moving through mud and, or honey. Good, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower the hips all the way down. Go ahead and come on up for a moment onto the knees and just roll out those shoulders. Give me nice big shoulder rolls. We're gonna do one more. Good, beautiful. All right, so now we are gonna find a hinge position with the upper body. Um, the lower body will be stabilizing. We'll feel your lower body and your legs just a little bit in this one. So we're going to hinge forward, right at the hips, right at the knees, nice flat back position. Now you're gonna take your arms, they're gonna be bent at the elbows, right angles. We're gonna bring the arms together. Good, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. And then we're gonna bring the arms back, squeeze the shoulder blades as we open the arms. Good, bring the arms back forward, open and squeeze. Good, together and open. If you wanna give that lower, lower body a complete rest, go ahead and lower your hips all the way down to your feet and just work that upper body. If you want a little bit of both, feel that stabilizing work, go ahead and prop yourself a little bit higher up. Good, squeeze. Let's do three more. Two. And last one. Good. Now bend your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades down by your side so elbows will touch your ribs and then send them up by the ears, straighten the arms. Good, squeeze the shoulders, elbows down, bring the arms back up. Good, squeeze and reach. Good, squeeze and reach. That's it and reach, good. So feeling arms, back, shoulders here. Good, let's do three more, three. Last two, last one. Now press the arms straight, palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Roll the shoulders back and down. Both arms press up towards the ceiling, good. Really lift, see how high you can go without rounding those shoulders forward. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it all the way down. All right, now you can turn forward. You can give that lower body a rest and just sit onto the heel. Spine is nice and tall. And we're gonna do long arm circles. So we're stabilizing here with the core. Arms are gonna come out to a T. And we're gonna do little circles. Get right around that shoulder joint. Good. So when you've got the, the arms nice and long and strong, so we're not flopping like this, right? We don't want floppy arms. We want them nice and long. We wanna feel those muscles engaged and working. You'll feel the difference just from that one small change. Let's do four, three, two, one. Let's reverse it. Good. Try not to swing or sway that upper body. That's it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower the arms down. Give me those three shoulder rolls again here. Good, forward, up and back, one more. And then lower the arms all the way down. All right, we are not done yet, so don't go anywhere. We're gonna take a quick break and I'll meet you right back here. We're gonna to come to lay down on our side for some tricep presses. So I'm gonna lay on my left side first. 
Both of your knees are gonna be bent. You're gonna lay fully down. That bottom arm is gonna wrap around the top waistline, okay? So that's just gonna stay nice and steady just like that. Your top hand is gonna press into the mat right in front of your chest. All right, lower body is not gonna move. Shoulders are trying to stay nice and open. We're gonna press ourselves up using this tricep of that top arm. So you're gonna go ahead and straighten that arm, bringing your upper body up off the mat and then lower it back down. Good, so we lift. These are harder than they look. So if you're having a hard time coming up, it's okay, just do the best that you can. Good, press and lower. See if you can come up, see if you can straighten that arm all the way and get that full tricep extension. Good, press and lift and lower. See if you can give me four more, four, that's it. Three. Last two. Last one. Press and lower. Those are more effective than you think. All right, press yourself up, but keep your legs here on this side. All right, so they are going to kind of tuck under back behind you. This time we're going to work this bottom tricep. So your hand is going to come onto the mat. The other hand is going to come behind your head. Now, if this position doesn't work well for you in this seated position, because we are going to kind of lift up and come over, if you start to lose your balance or can't get your hips here, find a comfortable seat that works for you, all right? All right, chest is nice and open. We're going to bring this bottom hand down. We're going to bend through the bottom elbow, and then we're going to really press off and come up and over. Good. So we bend the elbow, we're gonna lift. This time we'll bring it all the way up and overhead. We'll continue with that motion. All right, so you're really getting this nice press off with that bottom tricep. Make sure that tricep is not bending backwards, right? It's kind of bending in towards your side. And we wanna feel this nice contraction, that connection in that tricep as you press off, that's it. Good. See if you can give me four more. Keep that chest nice and open. Try to keep your hips and lower body nice and still. Good, let's do two more. Two. Last one, this time I want you to hold it over here. Drop the other hand and just drop your shoulders. This is just our regular mermaid stretch. Good, open up your chest. One more breath here. Good, bring it all the way back up. Go ahead and swing your legs over to the other side. We're gonna do that tricep press on our side here with that other arm. So remember to wrap that bottom arm around to that side waistline. Go ahead and press that hand right in front of you at the chest. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend through that top tricep as you lift and lower. I can already feel that this side is gonna be a lot harder. So I'm gonna do my best here. Good, and lower. Good, press, extend. Again, see if you can get that full ex extension here at the top. Good, press and lower. Good, four more. Four, that's it. Last three. Last two. Last one, lift and lower good this time press yourself all the way up again keep your legs here on this side we're going to do this press off on the other side all right so other hand behind your head go ahead and take this bottom hand down keep your shoulder away from your ear bend that bottom elbow find that side bend and then press it away and up and over good and we bend and press so we're getting that full extension on that press off, beautiful. So we're also getting some nice side to side motion here with the spine, really good for the body. Feels good too to get that side stretch. Let's do three more. Last two. Last one, down, good, press lift this time that other arm comes down, bring it up and over and hold it. Deep breath in. 
Good, exhale, turn the chest just a little bit more towards the ceiling, one more breath. All right, and then bring it all the way back up to center. All right, we are gonna come back into a plank position. This time on the hands fully, we are gonna rotate from front plank to side plank to front plank to side plank and continue that motion. All right, so come onto your hands and your knees. Find the shoulders right over the wrist, really spread your fingers, all 10 fingers, pressing into the mat. All right, you can either stay on your knees for a kneeling plank, then that where you'll have your knees farther back in a straight line in your body, or come up onto that full plank position on your toes. All right, so here we are in that front plank. I want you to transfer your weight to your left hand, rotate your feet a little, come into that side plank on that left side, right arm lifts. Good, come back forward, right hand down. Now left arm lifts, extend and lengthen. Beautiful, right hand down now. Good, open, reach that arm up. Nice, keep the shoulder blades pulling down the back here. Good, lift and extend. Nice, bring it down. Good, open and reach. Nice, you got this. Let's do one more each side. Last one. Good, then find that front plank hold. Feet close together if you can. We hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower those knees all the way down. Get to sit onto your heels. Go ahead and roll those wrists around. We're gonna do one more exercise here on the hands. So this time you're gonna flip yourself over so you're actually turned to face the other way. And we're gonna bring the feet a little farther away from the body. We're gonna do a reverse table pose. So the knees are gonna stay bent for this one. If you have really open shoulders, your palms are gonna be down with your fingers facing you. As long as you can really roll those shoulders down and back. Otherwise, you can do like me, turn your fingers to the sides of your mat. All right, now really roll the shoulders down and back. Really start con to connect through that back body. And then use the strength of that upper body, lift yourself up, and now you're in your reverse table. This is a nice stretch for the chest and the shoulders as well. And then lower your hips down just to tap the floor, and then when they come right back up, we lift, you can drop the head back as far as feels comfortable, and then we lower it down, tap the hips, lift and open. Good, tap and lower. Good, three more here, three. Last two. Last one, lift. Good, this time we lower all the way back down and take your arms out, shake out the shoulders, roll out those wrists again here. Roll them in the other direction. Beautiful, and then go ahead and find just a comfortable seat facing forward. We're gonna do some nice large arm circles here. So we're gonna take both arms together. We're gonna reach them forward Good, come up, up, up. Once they come right past the shoulder, you're gonna turn the palms to face back behind you, opening the chest and the shoulders, lower the arms down. Beautiful, let's do that again. Reach it forward, lift, lengthen, turn the palms open and back, and we lower. One more just like that, reach, lift, good, open, and lower. All right, take that right arm, pull it across the body. Grab on with your left arm and give yourself that nice stretch here. Good, deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, one more breath. Good, go ahead and just shake out those arms just a little bit and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Left arm pulls across. Good, give that nice Stretch to the back of that shoulder. You might even feel it in the back of the neck if you're tight like I am today. 
Good, and then release. And then we'll give the triceps a little love. So take that right arm up, bend the elbow, grab on with the other hand. Triceps definitely got some work today. Lots of upper body work, right? Shoulders, back body, the whole upper body was working. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good, and then release. And then last one, other side. Good, pulling it up, nice gentle stretch. Always making sure to stretch those muscles that we just worked. We got lots of strength work, lots of mobility work, and now we've got the stretching as well. So there's that, there's that balance for that upper body. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Take a little more stretches, maybe some more wrist stretches if you need it. Um, otherwise, you are done for today. If you enjoyed this one, I have plenty more videos and workouts on my channel. Go ahead and check those out. I'll also link to here that I think would be great for you as well. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. As always, I love having you join me here on the mat and I look forward to next time. See you then.